you don't, you don't play around in the actual training. That's why, look, we produce more champions than anybody else. I mean, that's the younger school is more uh, champions than uh, any other school. In that was Sasha Belfer. He's the father of Nathan Belfer, one of the most accomplished students from Ararat Martial Arts Club at the age of 14. But Nathan's national titles in Judo and MMA aren't produced from luck or pure talent. He credits his success too. The guys are practicing all the time. Just always in the gym and working on new throws and stuff. Gazaros Gregorian, known as Gazar, is a professional judoka and the owner of Ararat Martial Arts Club. Ararat is a small club, tucked conveniently away in the side streets of Mayfield, making it invisible for those not actively looking for it. However, this tiny club produces some of the most accomplished athletes in the nation, and many are recognized internationally. This may come as a surprise, that is, until walking through the door of the studio and hearing the never-ending throws, the yells of commands, and seeing the sweat pour off the students. Ararat is a young club, only a year old, but it has already produced like five national champions and almost every tournament in Ohio we won. The head instructor and owner of Ararat is Gazar. Gazar started judo at the age of 11 in Armenia as a response to his dad questioning his ability to protect his future girlfriends as a track runner. As he grew up, his skills grew too. Over the years, Gazar has amassed quite a few victories. He won second in the 2008 US Open, fifth in the 2006 Judo World Cup, and third in the 2003 European Continental Championships. But he didn't keep that wealth of knowledge and skill to himself. Gazar's objectives changed from protecting childhood girlfriends to teaching people, ranging from kindergartners to adults, how to protect themselves. Beyond that, however, Sasha Balfour Because in Judo, you're not graded on the quantity of your throws, but their quality. Because of this focus on perfection, Nathan Belfer explains how a typical practice consists of a lot of like throws, like working on like a lot of throws, mm -hmm. and like a lot of like physical work, like okay. push ups, squats, sit ups, mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff like that. But like mostly like throws. Right. In teaching the correct form, Kazar normally demonstrates to students so that they're able to see the little details which help create an easier and more effective throw. Their details such as how to lift a lapel and open up your opponent, which fine tune a throw and help its fluidity. This sentiment of perfection is the basis for all of judo. Brute force and strength do not win in a judo match. Technique does. In fact, the roots of judo are designed for a smaller guy to beat bigger guy. The training at Ararat is without a doubt serious and demanding, but these hour and a half long classes on yellow and scarlet sweat-stained mats help create the base for champions and teach lessons not found in any classroom or job. They are unique to the experience of Judo. Why I teach Judo? Uh, because I love so much Judo. That's one of the fantastic things I found in my life. 